Goth Save the Queen is a new double guessing game published by Sitdown, designed by Vincent Bonnard and illustrated by Guillaume. In Goths Save the Queen, Ostrogoths and Visigoths went to war again to try to rescue a queen captured by vile brigands. Rescuing the queen hidden onto the middle of a table or destroying the opponent army are both ways to win the game, one playing the king and the other playing the war chief. The king chooses the character he wants to activate. He places the chosen card face down on the table so that everyone sees the back of the card displaying two choices, the right character and a bluff. Then the war chief tries to deduce which character his king actually wants to activate based on the information at his disposal. The two characters visible on the back of the king's card, those visible on the enemy's king's card, the configuration of the armies and the terrain, and so on. If the king and his war chief have successfully communicated, the war chief must take action. The king can choose a character between the following the barbarian, the catapult, the vulture, the recruiter. The war chief can choose the action taken by the character. Conduct reconnaissance, sabotage the enemy catapult, recruit reinforcements to his army, load the catapult, fire with the catapult, construct a barricade in his army's current location, advance his army one card toward the objective cards, throw an axe at the enemy card, release rats in the enemy army. A variant is included within the base game under the form of four Fog of War tokens. You can also add to the base game the Oh My Goth expansion, which includes two new characters, a Ballista, 3D Barricades, and a bunch of new Fog of War tokens. With one copy of Goth Save the Queen, you can play with four players. Alternative rules are available on our website to play with two and three players. With two copies of Goth Save the Queen, you can play with six, seven, or eight players. The game includes rules in English, French, German, Spanish, and Dutch.